your workout. Um, you feel good? I feel good. You look huge. You look like you, you really yeah. developed. I yeah. think so. Yeah, it's good. Once again, we'd like to, to not thank Max Coffee. Thank you, Max Coffee. Oh, you, oh Cheers. It's, it's not thank Max Coffee. Thanks. So. Yeah, okay. We did volume, so we didn't take much rest. We just kept working through each exercise. So let me just uh, ask you, catch us up. Uh, I haven't seen you for a while. Yes. Uh, we haven't had uh, a whole lot of Upeha basketball or training or anything going on. Maybe share with them what have you been doing over the past uh, 12 months? Uh, what I've been doing for, for these past 12 months? Uh, I'm focus, focusing on my classes to increase my GPA. Maybe for exercise or for my healthy. To be honest, I'm not doing it for uh, for a while. You know, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Maybe it's been a while since <laughs> since I'm having my last exercise with Mubeha. Yeah. I think it's last year, right? Uh, yeah, it's been a while. December, December. Have you spent time with your family? Yep. In Manado? Oh no, in Dinosaur. Oh, okay, so your family is here now. Yeah. Okay. Family's all healthy? Yeah, thank God. Nice. You tried out for a team uh, recently, right? For the IBL, right? For the IBS. A, a new young team for preparing for a competition in 2023? Yep. Okay, you tried out. What was that experience like? It's been a great experience for me. Opportunity for me that uh, I can I be able to meet a lot of new people, a lot of new coaches. So uh, yeah, I learned a lot from them. So coaches from around Indonesia yeah, right or Indonesia. any foreign coaches? Mm, no. You try it out for the team. Um, you're not on the team, but some of your teammates are on the team, yep. right? Who, who from our who from our from our university team is on that team? Ali Zato, Yesen uh, Samuel, uh, Kelvin Sanjaya. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, very good. So that's that's good for Pehat. So since then, when did you when did you get cut, or when were you no longer on that? Um, December. Maybe. Okay. December. And since then, you haven't really been playing. Uh. I mean, this is March, right? So basically, you've taken a few months off. Yep. Playing basketball. I still playing basketball with my friends. Uh, near my home, there's a court, so just shooting around. What do you miss about not being on campus? I mean, if you could go back to 2019. What were some of the best parts? Okay, I guess both of I think is the uh, one part that I miss for this during this COVID. So I miss I miss both of them. I miss coached by you. I miss playing with my friend, with my teammates, with the best ball. I think this that is the most the most thing that I miss. Okay, so the actual the basketball experience. <laughs> The 5 a.m. practices, oh, yeah. the living in the dorm, yes. all that stuff. Okay. What about school? So you've been doing online, <laughs> but how is that? How is that different than the actual in person? To be honest, uh, let me let me say something. He always says to be honest, but actually he's very honest. He hasn't lied to you yet. So I think we understand you're honest. <laughs> so if you ever hear him say, "Okay, I'm lying to you," <laughs> be surprised. For the online classes. Actually, my GPA increased a lot because they are online classes. Because so, so it's easier or what? Not easier, but the assignment is like... Because you don't have to go? No, no, no. no. <laughs> it's, it's more like paper, so not like... Uh, open book? Yeah, yeah open book, yeah. but paper, not uh, assignment, not the exam. Not, no, no, no exams? No exams. Exam. Just papers? Yeah. And you're pretty good at papers? I think so. Or you have somebody else, like you have a proxy right for you, or a ghostwriter? No, no, no. I do it alone. You do it alone. Now that's when you say, to be honest, I do it alone. To be honest, I do it alone. <laughs> okay. right. I'm going to guess many of your friends don't. <laughs> many of your friends probably have help. Probably. Yeah, probably. So everybody's GPA is increasing. Uh, most of my friends. No, because a, a, lot, a few a of our of players them. could really use a bump in their GPA. <laughs> I'm not gonna mention Odo's name or, or anybody else. I don't wanna I don't wanna throw anybody under the bus like Winston, but you just said that. or or Aldi. Uh, I'll never uh, uh, never Aldi. talk about Aldi in a never. discouraging way. Yeah. But you think it's it's been good for the others also for GPA? Yeah, it's been good for them. Oh, that's great. Um, well, I miss the the team. I miss the I miss the connections. I miss the fun. Yeah, the reason I asked you about your schooling is because Karen 
bless her soul, was telling me that basically they just sleep. They just click the attendance and they basically, yeah, they sleep or they eat or they do other things. I think that is the disadvantage for that, online classes. Yeah, I think that's the disadvantage. It's an advantage which will turn into a disadvantage because you're losing your discipline. I think one of the things that I would encourage you, you get back into your discipline because lifting weights, exercising on a regular basis is discipline. It's making yourself do something. It's, it's forcing yourself to grow and adapt. There's something I learned that what you call me a vanilla guy? A vanilla? Yeah, 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 you are vanilla. Uh, what, what does it mean? Consistent. You know, every good flavor, well, not, not every good flavor, almost every good flavor of ice cream starts with vanilla. You ever thought about that? No. And vanilla goes with everything. So you can throw some chocolate in there, vanilla is good. You can throw strawberries in there, vanilla is good. You can throw caramel, vanilla is good. So is it a good thing? Yeah, it's a good thing. Okay. Yeah, vanilla. You get along with all your teammates because you can adapt and connect with all of them. You never give your coaches a problem because you can adapt and connect. You can play guard, you can, you can go inside, you, you can play basically any position. You can guard any position. You can do all the drills. You're vanilla. I can plug you in anywhere and you taste good. You fit in. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you consider yourself vanilla now that I've explained it? Yeah, maybe. I think you're right that uh, maybe on my junior and second year, I'm not really uh, contribute to the team. I think I have to thank, thank you to keep supporting me. Even, even though I have, uh, once I have two, two bad straight games, but you keep telling me, keep telling me the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Well, that's my job. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for recognizing I did my job. I want all of our players to grow, develop, become become everything they're, they're called to be, everything that they can possibly be. That's, that's my hope is for all of them. And you also, I want you to, to grow and develop and, and become excellent. Not just in basketball, but excellent at life. Be an excellent person so that you can be an excellent husband, you can be an excellent father, you can be an excellent grandpa. Mm -hmm. so, so, well, you know, I do my best. Yeah. You'd have to ask my little dudes, but yeah, I, you know, I do my best. Yeah, of course, I'm going to support you probably till the day you die or I die. Because that's what I do. And I, I, I let people go, but they never, they're never gone. One of the things that, uh, if anybody's watching this that's ever been on my team, I do my best when the Lord brings you to my mind for the next 20, 30 years, I'll pray for you. Now, I can't promise to pray for you every day. I'm just, I'm not a saint. But when I'm in my prayer time and if God puts you in my head, I, I will pray for you. But anyways, so is there any questions from the gallery? I think the practice is, is a lot of different for from uh, university and uh, fitness to try out. Uh, I practice uh, on four, four o'clock uh, till six o'clock and then 5 p.m. till 7 p.m. It's it's on the high school. It's my practices. So you practice twice a day in high twice school. Twice a day. Yeah. Okay. In the morning and in the afternoon. Yep. Okay. But the intensity is it's a lot of different from university each year. Okay. So you guys practice four hours a day, <laughs> four but hours low intensity. Low intensity. And we only practice an hour a day. Mm -hmm. But high intensity. Okay. Which one? Which one do you think impacts you? In a greater way. To be honest, one hour we will tell you that. And then the different, the different way of try out. Uh, maybe because it's a try out, so it's more about uh, skill on basketball, yeah. not exercise uh, on a bat. Yeah. It's, it's a different. It's a different. I think for the national, they're trying to find uh, high talent players. Mm -hmm. For me, yeah, of course I want talent, but what I want is high character guys. What I want is guys who want to come and learn, guys who want to change, guys who want to grow. Guys who are willing to be challenged and not give up. Talent will not win if you don't have character. 
You might want somebody with just talent to show up on the national team. It's okay. But that's not what I'm looking for to pay off. I want guys that are willing to die for us. Because I'm willing to die for them. That's the difference. Every year, every generation in Eagles basketball team and the guys, you would always at least pick one from out of your guys to lead them. The question is, how do you see from out of those guys, how do you see like which one do you think it's best uh, to lead them? And what do you want from them, one of those guys? And do you think, and the other question is, do you think Andrew is meeting this them? Mm, wow. Okay, so looking for uh, like a captain or somebody that I can, I can um, yes, yeah, pour into, do they believe me? Because if they don't believe me, if they're not bought into the system, then how in the world can they lead the team on the court when I'm leading the team on the bench? So they have to speak the same language. They have to buy into the system. If they don't buy into the system, they'll never be a captain on my team. That's probably the first thing. The second thing is um, they have to be somebody who's willing to be a great teammate, um, willing to help their teammates grow to their full capacity. If they're selfish, if they if they're looking out for themselves and not for us, if they're a, if they're a, a, a me guy and not a we guy, they can't be the captain of the team because the captain of the team deserves somebody who cares about the others, who wants them to succeed. Can Andrew be a captain of the team? Yeah, he could. He could. The, the, the biggest issue with you, if I can just be blunt, is you don't, you don't talk loud enough, you don't talk strong enough. And eventually, the captain of the team has to kick somebody's butt. Eventually, the captain of the team has to say, excuse me, can we do what we're doing? Let's go! And grab somebody and say, this is what we're going to get done. And not die on the vine. Not die in the middle of the competition. Not melt into the background. It doesn't matter if they're on the court, on the bench, they can be the guy going, come on, let's win this thing. And the look in their eye tells me everything. I tell you, uh, really quick. So we were playing uh, in, a, in a championship a few years ago. And we were down by six or seven points with a few minutes to play. And Christian Gunawan, uh, captain of the team, sitting on the bench. and. I, I made a joke, make everybody laugh and just keep everybody relaxed. And then I looked at him in the, in, the, in the eyes and said, can we do this? And he looked at me and said, yes. The dudes went back out on the court and we ended up winning a championship. Um, the look in his eye said, yes, we can get this done. And that's what I'm looking for. I want, I want, I want, I want all 12 guys to look me in the eye and say, yes. Let's go do this. So can he? Up to him. If he's gonna, if he's gonna be able to be that guy, I think he could. Up to him. Ball's in your court. All right. Well, uh, thank you for those good questions. Thank you. I, I appreciate, I appreciate you being here. Uh, look forward to coming back and getting the team together. And uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to see you play. I think you're gonna you're gonna play the best basketball you've ever played if we can get this thing going again. And I really think we have a we have a good a good core on the team. So again, thank you for joining us. And uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Till next time. Be blessed.